Good evening, Titans. And uh, this is the third video in a row um, for an assignment. This is lesson 2.3, but hopefully there's a, a pretty good understanding of what's going on. Uh, again, make sure that if you're missing the boat on some of the things in the video that you're asking in class, you're asking during our work time in class, that's very important that you're doing those things. Also, make sure you're writing down the examples um, and anything else that you feel you need to help you uh, on your assignments and your quizzes. So first of all, the core concept is we're going to be solving inequalities using multiplication and the division properties. So there's two main ones. And so the first one is if we multiply or divide each side of an inequality by the same positive number, it produces an equivalent inequality. So again, for example, if negative 6 is less than 8, and we multiply both sides by 2, as we're doing right here, then we go ahead and 2 times negative 6 is a negative 12, and 2 times 8 is 16, and we still have a negative 12 is less than a positive 16. And if 6 is greater than a negative 8, and we divide both sides by 2, we get 3 is greater than a negative 4, which, again, is an equivalent inequality. So again, as long as we multiply or divide by the same positive number on each side of the inequality, we'll end up with an equivalent inequality. So if we look at a couple of examples here, this first one we have x divided by 8 is greater than a negative 5. So to undo dividing by 8, we would multiply both sides of the inequality by a positive 8. These 8's divide out, leave me just x, is greater than a negative 40. And now I graph this. And so again, if I have a negative 40 here, I can go ahead and put negative 41 on the left side and a negative 39 on the right side. And now it's open and then shaded to the right because it's greater than. And on example 2 here, if we have 24 is greater than or equal to 3x. Now x being multiplied by 3, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3. I get negative 8 is greater than or equal to x. Now again, remember we always want to write the variable on the left, the number on the right. And now again, since the alligator was eating the negative 8, I want the big mouth open to the negative 8. And now I'm ready to graph. So I have negative 9, negative 8, negative 7, again, in order from least to greatest. It's equal to this time, so I close that in, and it'll be shaded to the left because it's less than or equal to. 